Uh, Mary Kay, when you look at the guys that the Browns lost, um, obviously they wanted to keep everybody. Andrew, Andrew Barry had said that in his end of the year press conference, but um, I think the fact that they were able to keep Rashard Higgins is a big deal. Um, Larry Ogunjobi played some good games, but um, they probably were looking for a little bit m more from, from uh, Larry Ogunjobi. And you see Mitchell Davis, again, Kendall Lamb, a versatile offensive lineman, but they really didn't lose any front, front line guys. And I know Ogunjobi was a starter and, and played some good football, but all in all, I think it's a testament to the Browns roster uh, that there are guys that are kind of their depth that other teams really want. There are some guys that are going to leave here and go play some decent football, but they didn't lose any real big name guys. Uh, they didn't lose guys that it will be incredibly difficult to replace at decent prices. And I think it's also a testament uh, to the fact that they have managed this cap incredibly well. Uh, that's where it really comes in handy to have a bunch of guys that, that went to Harvard, a bunch of guys that majored in economics, and uh, these guys really know and understand the ins and outs of, outs of the salary cap. They have like no dead money on, on their cap this year. It's somewhere like a million dollars where other teams are carrying $33 million on their cap and other ridiculous sums like that. So um, so they're, you know, they're doing great in that regard, and they will be able to keep any of the players that they want to. Now, while we have been on this show live, news came down that uh, that the NFL has agreed to all of its television contracts and they are enormous. And um, and in order to in order to be able to do that, uh, what they can now do is move to a 17 game season. So I think that's the next thing that you're going to hear is that there will be 17 games instead of 16. I think that's pretty big news as well. Uh, but now the salary cap will go up, games will go up, and the game continues to grow. Yeah, and, and there were some estimates that the salary cap, which was 182.5, I believe, 182.5, could be as high as 227 to 230 million next year, right in line for all those fifth year uh, renegotiated contracts that the Browns have. And you got to believe Andrew Berry in the front office knew that. Oh, they knew it for sure. I mean, everyone knew that this was a, a depressed financial market with what happened with COVID last year. So this was not the year to go out and really try to get the the big, enormous contracts. Everyone was in dire uh, financial straits. Most teams were. And, and now they're going to be kind of rolling in the dough. And I actually think that, uh, you know, it would probably behoove perhaps Baker Mayfield to wait until next season put together another really good year from start to finish, maybe even make the Pro Bowl and uh, see if he, if he can't hit the jackpot after this season. 